Hi, I'm Ashley Harwood, and in this video, I'm going to turn a once turned bowl. I'm starting with a fresh chunk of wood, and I'm ending with something like this. I would like to thank my sponsor for this video, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership program that curates boxes of super cool goods from under the radar brands. 90% of the products come from small businesses, many of which are based here in the US. Every box has about $70 in value, but costs only $45. And you only pay for what you want. Their online quiz helps determine which boxes you'll like best and you'll have a chance to keep your box each month, swap it for a different one, or skip that month at no charge. I have here the Terra Box, definitely coming with me on my next camping trip. The Retreat Box, with this awesome blanket and hammock duo. And the Weekender Box, it's a canvas satchel that's just the right size for weekend adventures and a stylish throwback to old school tool bags. To get 20% off your first box, click the link in the description and enter code AshleyHarwood20 at checkout or go to bspk.me slash AshleyHarwood20. For this bowl, I'm using a piece of local water oak. It's got some nice curly figure in it and just a little bit of spalting. This kind of bowl is really fun to make, and I get a lot of practice at these because they're what we turn in my classes. Still, every one is just a little different, and this one is definitely no exception to that rule. My first objective is to get it on a chuck where it will be much safer to rough into the round. This piece easily weighs 25 to 30 pounds. No, I did not weigh it. My point is, we don't want it coming off the lathe until we're ready. The push cut enables me to float across the surface. Even though I'm cutting on a piece that's not yet round, my tool and my hands are perfectly steady. is the magical part of bowl turning. When it transforms from a piece of wood to a bowl in a matter of seconds.
something I did not realize until I started watching and editing these videos is how little and how slowly my upper body moves. The piece seems to take shape quickly, but my movements are like Tai Chi. One thing I love about the inside, this is when I get to cover my cameraman. <laughs> With a little practice, you can get pretty good aim. Checking for that even wall thickness. Yes, it was clean in here when I started. This is my new patent pending bottom bowl gouge. Still trying to decide on a name, so if y'all have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. It's 15 inches long rather than the typical 12 inch long tools and can easily tackle a deep bowl with the additional leverage. The test of a hand turned bowl. Does that curve feel right? No mas. I told you all this one was different. I'm using this scrap piece to make my jam chuck. It will hold my bowl on the lathe using only friction. This is one last cut all the way up the outside to make it just a bit thinner. Also, the moment of truth. In wood turning, I'm often listening and feeling more than I'm looking. Listen to this change in the sound of the cut.
honestly, I wasn't sure this one was gonna make it. Halloween! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I do hope that you'll hit subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little notifications bell to make sure that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below this video. I would like to give a big thank you to my Patreon members. Your support really goes a long way in helping us to continue to produce high quality videos and photos for all of the social media accounts. Thank you so much. If you would like a behind the scenes look at what's going on in my business, or if you would like a heads up before the general public about when I'm gonna be hosting my next classes, head on over to the Patreon page. Again, the links are down below. And I'd like to give an extra big shout out to my top tier patrons. Charles Saki, Chris Cairns, Dow Rohn, Duke Bloy, Jeffrey Bishop, Jim Tate, John McDevitt, Chris Jones, Randy Owens, Robert Hunt, AKA Mr. Bodog, Steven Roberts, Steve Snyder, Andrew Nidell, Andrew Movius, Patrick Walker, and Richard Swoboda. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next time.